But she cost me an extra five minutes and how it's on, ladies. Oh. Emily, don't. Hope you enjoyed the show, queer. Emily, coach said that was enough. I'm just saying, God intended Adam to be with Eve, not Steve. Very original. Did it take all of your one brain cell to come up with that? I find it very rude that you would insult my religion like that. Did you just turn into a 2012 Tumblr? <laughs> your unnatural choice is not what God intended for his children. Oh, you have nothing to say about that one, Dyke? What did you just say to me? Say it again, I dare you. Okay, don't you think you're being uh, just a tad overreactive? Okay, then you say it then. Let's go. Okay, okay let's just calm down. <gasps> Unbelievable. Somebody tell me what went on out there today. Okay. I'll rephrase. Tell me what happened, or I'll be forced to suspend the both of you. And I don't think two girls with your high academic standing want that on your record. She threw the first punch, sir. I only fought back to defend myself. Oh, boo-hoo. I was only standing up against an injustice. Does that make what either of us did right? Injustice? I didn't do anything to you. When you back up people who are in the wrong, you, therefore, are in the wrong. But that is an excuse punching me in the face. Okay, enough bickering. Tell me what happened, Millie. Well... Some of the girls on the team were saying some not nice things. Homophobic slurs. Say it how it was, Millie. Let's not sugarcoat the situation. I've heard enough. I do not want to suspend the both of you. However, I cannot let you get away with this without some form of punishment. I'm willing to assign community service hours in place of suspension. Okay, how many hours? Two hours a day during the weekday for a month. A month? I'm sorry, sir, but I don't have any extra time between soccer practice, work, all my studies. I mean, it's my senior year. I will hear none of it. And you will be doing it together. What? I'm not spending a month with her. Would you prefer suspension? Good. Mrs. Stewart will meet you in the lobby to discuss your service program. Um, and then after we practice some possession plays, which I really needed to work on. Good. I'm glad Coach is focusing on where you most need improvement. Okay, he's not just focusing on me, Mom. I know that. I'm just glad he's pushing you, that's all, with the scouts coming. Especially considering they're still coming after all that's happened. Do you have much homework you need to get done? Um, yeah, a lot of calc and bio. Are you going to have time to finish it all after you get home? Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna try. Good. Your grades are just as important as soccer. You can't be falling behind because of this. I know. Um, I'm gonna try to start my calc here while I can. What about bio? Um, well, if I don't finish it tonight, I will finish it tomorrow with Brendan's help. Speaking of Brendan, um, his mother called me last night told me he was thinking of asking you to homecoming. Uh-huh. Are you considering going with him? Mom, I really don't want to talk about this right now. I'm grounded, remember? Fine. 
Um, oh, your father will be picking you up afterwards. What do you think you're doing? Oh, I'm done. No, we still have all this trash to pick up. Technically, our assignment entails picking up as much trash as we can in the allotted amount of time. My body has already picked up as much trash as it can. No, that's not how this works. The sooner we pick up all this trash, the sooner we get to go home. You really think they're gonna let us leave before our time is up? They're just gonna make us do something inside. Because that baby doll is the deal. I don't believe you. Get out of my way, Andy. No. Are you always this big of a bitch? Are you always like this big of a pushover? I'm not a pushover, I just do what's asked of me. So I'm gonna say it again. Get out of my way. I'm gonna finish picking up the rest of this by myself. You can help me or not, your choice. Derivatives kicking your ass? Don't we have the same teacher for Calc? I'm flattered you've taken such an interest in my personal life, Miss Blake. <laughs> you know, you should be using your time here a little more effectively, in my opinion. Actually, uh, Doodling is using my time effectively. I'm creating art. Good evening, ladies. Hi. Hey guys. <laughs> Out for your evening stroll? Yep. <laughs> we saw the two of you in here. Figured we'd come in and say hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> what are you two working on? I'm doing calculus, which apparently Andy does not care to do with her free time. Oh, I completed all my calc problems. How? <laughs> there was like 60 problems assigned. I did them all during study hall. Are you serious? That's insane. Yeah, it really wasn't that hard if you know the material. You know, Lee was actually really good at math when she was young. She could have been a rocket scientist. <laughs> For real? Why didn't she? She gave it all up to travel with me. Sounds like she was an extraordinary woman. Sounds like you got lucky. I did. I really did. I guess we should start walking back. Uh, okay. Now, you make me proud with your calculus, Millie. You know, I'm actually really good at calc. No, oh, we've been new. <laughs> oh, rude, but uh, actually, I have a proposition for you. What? I 
I could tutor you in study hall. What do you want in return? I don't need anything. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, I guess if you could get your friends off my back, that'd be really great. Deal. I'll see you tomorrow at the library, then. Girl even have a brain? Look at Charlie for heaven's sakes. <laughs> Millie? Millie! <laughs> Come join us. Watching people make idiotic decisions is entertainment at its finest. <laughs> I'd love to. <laughs> Don't distract her, Tony. She's got to get her work done. Oh, a little family time isn't going to hurt. Besides, she's also grounded. Don't force our daughter to be antisocial. Come, Millie Bean. Join the roast. <laughs> The muscular guy at the end, she gave him the second to the last row, so it's all down to this. I don't know why he's so invested. Have you never seen a dumpster fire? You can't look away. Dad. Oh, this is such trash, me. I told you she wouldn't pick him. Look, I, I understand the other two guys were more attractive, but uh, she had such chemistry with Charlie. Such a waste. Yeah, I don't know about that. The other guys just seemed more, I don't know, normal. How so? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, they had stable jobs and they were just nice guys. Charlie was more, a little more eccentric. Guess who called again tonight? Who? Brendan's mother. Brendan? From down the street? Mm-hmm. He's going to ask uh, Millie to the homecoming dance, and I think his mother was trying to get me to spill whether you'd say yes or not, Millie. Mom, I don't even know if I'm going to go to the dance. But Brendan is a nice boy. Well, May, if she doesn't want to go, she doesn't have to I'm go. just saying, your sister and brother loved those dances. Um, you know, I think I'm actually going to go finish my homework. Oh, you're leaving so soon? <laughs> you want me to come hang out with you? <laughs> Dad, um, I actually have to go talk to one of my friends on the phone. You never call your friends for help. I know, I just don't think I can get it done on my own this time. Okay, well, whatever gets the job done. I just need help going over the reciprocal rule. Those are Marvel movies, you buffoon. Rubbish. Oh, and who is the better actress? Scarlett Johansson or Jennifer Lawrence? Uh, I don't know who won more awards. No idea. <laughs> Lee and I never watch those award shows on the television. Never? No. We hardly watch television, in fact. Not probably uh, until the last 20 years, really. Wow. It's actually kind of impressive. <laughs> what about you, Pet? 
You watch those award shows on the TV. Uh, no, I'm afraid not. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. She led such a sheltered, closeted life. <laughs> I can hear you. <laughs> you know, I love when you tell stories about Lee. Did I tell you about the time I took Lee home to meet my parents? No, ma'am, but I'd love to hear it. <laughs> well, it was the summer of... Well, I don't remember what year it is, and who cares? Well, it was summer. June, maybe. Lee and I had been seeing each other for about six months at that point. My parents had never met her. Wow, it's a long time. So one day I brought Lee home and said, Mother, Father, this is Lee, my girlfriend. Well, well, that's it. I moved out the next day and Lee and I moved to New York. That's it? They didn't know you were gay? Did you just moved out? Well, being a lesbian wasn't accepted back then like it is now. I knew my parents wouldn't approve, but I loved Lee. And so she agreed to go away with me. You guys were so brave. Just brave? They were savage, really. <laughs> I wish I could have met Lee. You guys are such an inspiration. Well, Lee would have liked you. You got a lot of spunk, just like her. Hmm. Let them be a lesson to, to you dears. <laughs> Don't be afraid to be yourself and be happy. Hey, when we're done, I'll put away the cleaning supplies if you put away the rags in the laundry room. Okay, yeah. Are you okay? You seem kind of out of it. Not very you of you. Yeah, no, I was just thinking. Oh, only nerds think. In all seriousness, what are you thinking about? Can I ask you something? Yeah. What's up? Um. How is it so easy? What? You, like, like being gay at our school. It just, it seems so easy for you despite this unaccepting environment we live in, like this, this town. I, I just really don't understand how it's so easy. You think it's easy for me? You think this is easy? No, no, that's not what I'm trying to say. That's exactly what you're saying. You think it's easy for me to be gay? I mean, it's anything but easy. You think it's easy going your whole life debate about who you are? I mean, one minute I'm straight, and then the next I'm like, I don't know, maybe I'm bisexual, maybe I'm into women, and then the next being like, no, I'm not into either. I mean, I realized I'm basically an asexual lesbian. That's the minute I knew, but before that there's discovery and pain and frustration that's not easy. Sorry, I didn't mean to put that on you. No, it's okay. You were really brave to open up like that. You know you can tell me anything, right? I'm gay. I 
I know. 